Hi everyone and welcome to Experiment P16 and this is a very special edition of Let's Unbox This brought to you from Florida. Uh, some of you may know that uh, Jordan, our usual talent for these segments, is currently in New Hampshire. So can't be with us for this one, so you're stuck with me. Um, but we do have an exciting item here in the box, and uh, let's get straight to it. So we've got the unique Breeze 4K uh, drone. First off the belt, this, this is in no way sponsored by anybody. The only sponsor to this is uh, Yvonne. So a quick, uh, quick run through of some of the specs on this. We've got um, automated flight modes. I'm interested to find out what they are because I've never flown a drone before. So this is going to be pretty good when we get into the flight test later on. Um, it's got 4K video resolution, um, 13 megapixel still images. It has a follow me mode. You press an indoor position system. 720 HD live view. And uh, social media sharing. Now, this kit was purchased from Best Buy. Uh, the guy, I have to say, the guy in Best Buy was a massive help. Um, he had trouble with the, the scanning the barcode to start with, but we managed to get there at the end. Um, all told now I've seen this, this, this item on sale for somewhere in the region of £300 in the UK. Uh, this was on offer in Best Buy for $199, uh, that's after tax. Um, it comes with a spare battery which is great, um, a single battery I think has something in the region of 12 and a half minutes of flight time so that's obviously given us double. Um, I already had an SD card from the GoPro, so I'm just going to stick that in there when we get around to the flight. Um, and there was no control over it, so it will be flown from my phone. Again, as I say, I've never flown a drone before, so it's probably not going to be a major issue, because I won't have anything to compare it against. Um, but all that aside, let's get straight into the unboxing. So, one quick disclaimer. I have already opened it up and charged the batteries because um, I was a little bit excited to try it out today. But uh, anyway, straight off the belt, we've got a um, couple of leaflets, um, basic, basic data about returning the item to uh, the retailer. It should be sent back directly to the manufacturer for any any technical faults with it, um, and some information on where why not to fly. Not really bothered about that to be honest with So straight off I can see that uh, the, the drone itself is in quite a nice case. We'll get around to that in a second. First off we've got, we've got a little container which I believe is just documentation. Um, yeah just instructions. Who needs them? <laughs> I've watched YouTube to learn how to fly it. Um, a set of props. Now what have we got? How many have we got? Let's see if it's a full set. Uh, yes, looks like it. Yeah, full set of spare props and all the screws go with it, so that's pretty good. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna need some of those. We have a charger, a USB cable, which I have a feeling I will have to read the instructions for because I don't know what that's for. Um, and the charger cable. US adapter, obviously, I'll have to have a travel, travel adapter or some description to use this back in the UK. I might see if I can get a just get a new cable off eBay. And then, oh no, let's have a look at this. No, that's the big reveal. Let's see what's inside here. 
Oh well, yeah, really nice. So inside, yeah, as I said, we've got the uh, two batteries, one here and one in the drone. Take the technically to stop that from. Right, so yeah, that's pretty pretty good. Um, set of prop guards again. I think I'm going to need them. I haven't never flown one before. Did I mention that? So the drone itself has a couple of labels attached to it, um, just on the elastic bands, let's just be careful with them props. Um, these are just warnings to say that you should install the prop guards, you can see that. And this one is... Again, just warning that the uh, motors and propellers can't get hot during operation. Yeah. Other than that, the machine has uh, down-facing cameras, so it can, can actually detect where it is. So for positioning, um, we'll flip out, flip out legs. Pretty cool. An on off switch. It's got a USB port on the side, but it does say, uh, I think it might just be for a data transfer because it says it's enough for charging. So there's a, see, you can see that there. there's a USB port on the side. But I, I might have to read the instructions to find out what that's for. But little, yeah, again, little. Uh, 4K camera on the front, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, all in all, it feels pretty good quality. I mean, it, it feels like, from what I've seen, it's certainly not a toy grade. Uh, feels like a pretty substantial little drone. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have been disappointed if I paid four hundred pound in the UK, but obviously I got a massive bonus because I only paid about one hundred and sixty. £160 equivalent. Um, so yeah, that's the that's pretty much the unboxing. Uh, let's get this thing put together and get it in the air. Let's get the battery in. As it's been made in fact, I'm gonna install the prop guards. So let's have a look and see how that's done. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's absolutely chucking it down the rain in a minute. Welcome to Florida. Anyway, so...